Hello, welcome to Towers of the Earth. This is Stromberg Tower in the Czech Republic. And we're going to get close to it and we're going to go up it. The town of Stromberg is actually quite medieval and the uh, tower is from the 13th century, in fact. There it is. And that's where we're going to go. So I'm walking along the road towards the tower. Uh, it's a Saturday morning, not many people about, but a few shops are just opening up now. And I'm going to show you something that they eat here called Stromberg Ushi. Stromberg Ushi, actually, something like that, which is, means Stromberg ears. So we're going to have a look in a moment. So now I'm walking up towards the tower. Uh, the actual town itself is elevated and uh, the tower is in fact 40 meters tall from its base but it's obviously higher than that because the town is above sea level. So I'm now in the town square which is quite picturesque. It has some very unusual buildings in it, unusual style that is. and. The tower is is up there. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, the tower's up there. Mietzki um, Pivovar, and uh, that means town brewery. Uh, there's another tower there, a church tower behind me as well. You can see it behind. Okay, so now I'm walking up towards the tower itself. The path keeps climbing as we go. Higher and higher, like this. Whoops, nearly tripped up, but I didn't. So here's some information about the castle. It was originally a castle, and the lookout tower is what remains. Some information here in English. It says that Schomburg, an attempt at reconstruction of the castle, state for the period around 1400. So it is from the 13th century. So here's a closer view of the tower. There we go. And we're going to go up to that part now where there are open windows for the view out. And the view will be quite impressive. Stay with me to see it. Here's the little ticket desk here, which is very nice. And they've got some costumes over here from the time period of the tower itself and the castle. Unfortunately, the castle is no longer standing, but the tower remains, which is good. So I'm now on the first steps of the tower itself, and it starts off with a metal spiral staircase. We can't see much above us, unfortunately, because of the spiral staircase. I'm going round and round and getting very dizzy. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, now we're moving to another section where it changes from a metal staircase to a wooden staircase. Yeah. You can't have a tower without a dungeon. And here is one with the skeleton of the last remaining person that was put down there. Still in it, amazing. So that's at the bottom of the tower. The staircase up is very well lit, so there's no problem to see where you're walking. There are little windows also along the way, like that. A little statue of a knight in there. In this part, there are some examples of armor and uh, a suit of armor over there next to a maiden and some banners with various symbols. So I've now reached the midpoint viewing gallery, which is a circular structure on the outside wall of 
the tower itself with views over the Czech Republic or at least the eastern part of the Czech Republic so I'll quickly walk around so you can see there it is yeah. uh -huh. nearly made a full circle There is the square down there, actually the square of Stromberg. There. So I'm going back inside now to do the last part of the ascent. I'm not sure where this is going to take me, but obviously you can see it goes up a bit further. This is it. This is as far as you can go up the tower. Um, I will show you the roof of it in a minute from the inside, which is also quite interesting. Uh, it wasn't difficult to climb it, but at only 40 to 50 meters, it wouldn't be very difficult. You have to be careful when you're walking backwards. That's it inside. So I'll show you the roof now. If you look above me, okay. Okay, the roof or the tower itself, there. Time to go down. And there's the view from the top here down to the dungeons down there where our friend the skeleton was. But I can't see him from this angle. But anyway, yeah. Going down, going down, further and further, down the spiral staircase. This is the last part down to the bottom. The castle underwent a little bit of renovation in 2020 when they looks like rebuilt the viewing circle which is halfway up the tower there and um, they painted the steps inside white so it makes it a little bit more accessible now and a little bit more comfortable to walk up. So. No, there you go, and a flag is flying on the top. And the view over here of the surrounding countryside, which is quite impressive. Hey, it's a great place to come, guys. So if you're ever in the Czech Republic, um, this is not so far from a major city called Ostrava. It's well worth a visit for half a day. I'm sure you'll enjoy it and don't forget you can try the typical uh, food here food yeah it's called Strombergske Uschi which is, means Stromberg ears and the story behind that is quite interesting um, this place was invaded or attacked by uh, Tartars in the Middle Ages and uh, after the Tartars had left they found a bag of ears apparently so legend says human ears in one of the cellars and they apparently cut the ears off people so these are Stromberske Uschi which means Stromberg ears and one last view there you go Another view of this fantastic tower here in Stramburg and the square. So you get a good view of the square now. Ah, it's a Saturday morning and it's a beautiful day because it's sunny, but it's not very warm. It's only about 12 degrees centigrade. So after walking up the tower, you've got to have something to eat. There you go. Dobro huj. Enjoy your food. So if you like the video give it a thumbs up and look out soon for my next video and subscribe of course because I'm going to be making videos about towers all around the world in fact. Yeah. Goodbye.